So this is a great product with a funny name, VSNFA. How do you even pronounce that? It's a bike phone mount, and uh, I don't know. It's like they hiccup when they named it. How do you pronounce a hiccup? Funny name or not, this is a fine phone holder. It makes some pretty big claims uh, right in the title. First of all, it's stainless steel clamp arms, anti-shake and stable, 360 degrees of rotation, and any smartphone between 4 and 7 inches. Here's a view from the back, and you can see that red tab, it's the lock. And you've got the thumb screw and uh, the four corner clamps, and also the part that uh, hooks up to the handlebars, and that has a thumb screw. Well, after seeing their ad and their video, I said for this price, uh, compared to some of the other popular brands, two to three times as expensive, I'm going to get this for myself and for my wife. So I bought two. Now, the first thing I tried was to see how the arms worked, and you can see from the video the spring is quite strong and smooth. So I put it on a 6S iPhone. Ye yes, it's my wife's, and uh, it pops right in. The clamps have great holders on the ends. The back has a little red lock which you switch and then it holds it pretty securely and uh, you can shake it and it's not going anywhere. Look at that. You may not need it but they include this soft rubbery adhesive. Uh, it's pad for the back of your phone and they give you three of them just in case you need to double them up maybe for more absorbance or if you ever need to replace it. But they are well designed, easy to apply, very sticky, very sticky. And uh, they are cut perfectly by the way. Um, the knife was there just because I couldn't get the paper off at first, trying to get that with my fingernails hard. But no cutting, just perfect fit, and um, I think they're from 3M, and they stick just perfectly. So, um, I put the phone back on. And even with these little flowers and sparkly glass on the back cover, it fit just as well with it as without it. Snap the lock, and yeah, man, this is not going anywhere. Okay. Love simple, well-made designs. Okay, let's go see if it can hook up to the handlebars all right. It's got these three pads that go around the inside of the handlebar mount, so this can work on different size bars, but Maybe it's the shock absorbers for the mount, so you want to put more than one. I used all three, and it worked perfectly. Um, that's probably what it was for, shock absorption. So, okay, finger screwed that in. That worked well. And um, then uh, I don't even have to take the phone out of the clamp. I just attached it to the mount like this. Boom. Thumb screw on, and uh, you can see I'm not over tightening. I'm just going to make it firm, and uh, that's it. It hooks up perfectly. All right, now look, I'm going to get close here, and you can see that the clamps are just keeping the phone slightly above with a small space in between. And you can also see the red locking tab right there. So now it's time to give it the bounce test. Let's see. And it is pretty stable. Now here is my much bigger phone, the 6S Plus, with this big case and this tab which makes it completely lopsided for a four-cornered clamp style. I thought I might have to take it out of the case to use it on the unit, but no. I just pulled out the clamps to max and placed the phone in and then just had to guide the clamps back to grab the four corners. And look at that. Clamps adapted. So let's lock it in and now give it a bounce test. Well, I'm very happy. Uh, I gotta tell you, we put on about 20 miles every other day, and uh, I'd say we're about close to, since we bought it three weeks ago, we, we have to be about close to 200 miles. and. We have no complaints, no slippage, uh, works exactly the same as it did when we first put it on.